Hello, this is David Smith at uh, uh, Gay, uh, Game Connection in Lyon. I'm pleased to have with me Carrie Cunliffe, the Head of Sector Development and Game Horizon Conference Director of Codeworks. Carrie, what inspired you to enter video games? Well, um, I entered video games kind of by accident, to be honest. Um, though I have found it a very interesting sector to work with. Um, I actually set up a video games network called Game Horizon as part of the work that I'm doing at Codeworks. And the reason we, d we did that in, in the North East is because there was um, a big cluster of games companies there. And there was a feeling that... Um, they weren't really able to network with each other through any other kind of organisation. Um, and they really wanted to collaborate and work together. And uh, you know, the North East companies have been doing that for kind of the past six years now. Um, but I have to say that um, they've actually been, um, you know, the guys are very easy and interesting to work with. There's a kind of creative and technological marriage uh, that goes on, which makes them all really interesting. Thank you. Do you think it's harder for women to enter the game industry than it is for men? I think it, it is, but um, I, I think there's a number of reasons for that. I think, firstly, um, girls do play games now, but I think in the past uh, they didn't. And I think with more and more girls playing games from an earlier age, what we're going to see is uh, you know, females going to be more interested in actually looking at subjects Games. So, um, for instance, in the North East, I know we don't really have many programmers or animators uh, who are females, but I think that over the next few years that will change. Uh, and uh, Game Horizon has been trying to help uh, do that by educating um, school children um, in kind of what the prerequisites are for getting into university. Very um, good. I think, I think uh, women tend to be, um, they're interested more in the marketing and the HR and the management side at the moment because, um, as I said, I just think that traditionally they're the subjects of women are Thank you. Do you have any amusing anecdotes from your experience of being a woman in a male-dominated environment? I do. Quite recently, um, I had a meeting with um, uh, somebody who just started uh, in Codeworks, <laughs> and uh, we were talking about the management structure. He was asking, you know, uh, who were the managers at various levels. Uh, I told him I was a senior manager, and his reply was, "What are you?" Very good. I hope you put him straight. I did indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever felt the need to dress down or play down the fact that you're a woman in order to be taken seriously by your colleagues? Absolutely never. No, I, I actually, uh, I think uh, I've worked in lots of different sectors. I've worked in the chemical sector before, um, I've worked in the IT sector, and I actually think of all the sectors, I think I feel less like that in the game sector. I think they're very kind of um, open, you know, polite set of people. Um, I, I don't feel I need to modify my behaviour in any way to kind of fit in, and I don't think they do that with me either. That's good to hear. Um, do you think that attitudes towards women uh, in game development in particular have changed over the past years? Um, yes, I do. Apologies for that. Somebody's making science behind you. <laughs> um, yeah, I think uh, slightly. I think, I think uh, you know, there are not many more, but there are more women going into the game sector. And in itself, I think that is, is you know, helping companies realise that working with females actually is any different than working with males. Uh, so, yeah, I think attitudes have changed slightly. But again, I think it's not because people are saying we don't want to employ women. I just don't think there's that many women out there who fit the job at the moment. Very good. Okay, well, what, to change that, I mean, what advice would you give to women wanting to enter the game industry, either as a first job or a career change? I mean, obviously, the, they need to make, make sure that they're actually qualified properly uh, and that they actually you know, uh, get the experience. And I would suggest anybody, whether they're male or female, if they're studying at university, they get an industrial placement to get real experience in the industry. Uh, and also that they get to understand what the industry is about, you know, read up, do research, find out what companies are doing, um, and, you know, just, just kind of get some real industry experience. 
fantastic. Uh, Kerry Cunliffe, Head of Sector Development and Game Horizon Conference Director at Coworks. Thank you very much. Thank you.